I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. It is a Sullivan County murder case that had gone cold, but is now heating up. Back in 1996, the body of 48-year-old Demetrius Carter was discovered in the basement of an adult home for AIDS patients in the town of Calico and Hamlet of North Branch. No arrest was made and the case went cold. But now, a former Sullivan County man who was recently convicted of first-degree murder in Michigan has become the prime suspect in the unsolved Sullivan County case. The wife of Bisham, Brian Sugrim, who testified against her husband in the Michigan trial, has informed Sullivan County authorities that her husband had admitted to her that he killed Carter. Sugrim's parents ran the Loyalty Lodge adult home at the time of the murder. Sullivan County authorities are hoping to prosecute Sue Grimm here if enough evidence uh, can be presented to link him to the 16-year-old crime. Reporter Victor Whitman will have further details on this apparent to break in a cold case right here at Record Online and in tomorrow's Times-Herald Record. A Kingston woman has been arrested for robbing a local bank earlier this month. Police say 56-year-old Geraldine Marshall walked into the Roundout Savings Bank branch on Broadway March 8th, uh, then told, told bank employees she had a gun and walked out with an undisclosed amount of money. Police have not, not said whether a Marshall was armed. Following the robbery, police released a bank surveillance photo of a woman who they had labeled as a prime suspect. Marshall was charged with first-degree robbery and was ordered held on $10,000 bail in Ulster County Jail. No word on whether any of the money has been recovered. Police in Monticello are calling it a gang-related shooting that uh, may have involved more than one shooter. Happened at around 10.30 Wednesday night on Summit Avenue, where officers responded to a report of shots fired. That's where 23-year-old Michael Berry of Monticello was found with a gunshot wound in, in the thigh. He's uh, currently in stable condition at Westchester Medical Center. Police say the discovery of several different caliber shell casings suggests that uh, more than one shooter was involved. The general manager of the Crystal Run Galleria Mall calls it the next logical step. He was talking about the expanded tobacco-free policy that will take effect at the mall beginning May 31st. It'll prohibit uh, smoking on all mall property, including outside entry points and the parking lots. And GM Bradford Freeman is confident shoppers and mall employees will go along. As far as enforcement, we believe that people generally are very positive and that they'll understand what it is. And if they're smokers, that you know this isn't the first place they've been that doesn't allow smoking. And so uh, we're very hopeful that people will respect our uh, our choice in going this direction and there shouldn't be too many issues. Representatives from the American Cancer Society and the organization Power Against Tobacco were in the mall Wednesday to explain the expanded policy and to promote their programs that help people try to kick the habit. We also want them to know we're not villainizing them. We understand, we empathize that it's an addiction, but they also have to understand that secondhand smoke can also be very a big health hazard to other people that suffer from other illnesses or have tried to quit themselves. It's a trigger for them to want to smoke again when they see other people smoking or have to smell the tobacco smoke. Those mall employees who do smoke, including Christine Mangione, weren't uh, thrilled uh, with the coming changes, but uh, she and others say they will adapt. I don't think it's totally fair. I can understand um, the gallery and not wanting people smoking by the doors and stuff where people come in, but I think it would be nice to have a little smoking area around somewhere, like, you know, for people that smoke, so. I don't think it's totally fair. I'll probably go sit in my car or find a little nook somewhere and smoke, but probably sit in my car. Open the windows, get some fresh air, sit outside somewhere and smoke. So All right. I'll work it out somehow. Crystal Run is one of 15 Pyramid Company mall properties that will become totally tobacco free. Congressman Maurice Hinchy is going to bat for those fighting the plan to replace the historic Pond Eddy Bridge. In a letter to the state DOT, Hinchy said demolishing the existing bridge, which is on the National Register of Historic Places, would be a waste of $12 million. The proposed replacement span, termed by some a bridge to nowhere, would extend across the Delaware River from Pond Eddy to serve only about a dozen Pennsylvania residents. Hinchy's uh, pushing for a preservation and rehab of the existing bridge. He says he's also worried that construction of a new Pond Eddy Bridge would require interruption of the free flow of the Delaware River for at least a year.
And it's another example of why police agencies want you to say something if you see something. In the town of Waldkill, a neighbor called to report a suspicious empty vehicle parked outside a nearby residence on Goshen Turnpike. The plate number was relayed to police, and the information ultimately led to the arrest of 29-year-old James Phillips of Liberty. He's now facing uh, charges of felony attempted burglary and criminal mischief. The warm temperatures have given all our plants and flowers a growing season head start. And we will enjoy another day of very warm March weather before things cool down a little bit. Friday will be a partly sunny and pleasant with the highs reaching the mid-70s. Clouds will be on the increase on Saturday with temperatures in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. A little, uh, little light rain could reach us uh, by Saturday night. Now stay with Record Online for breaking news and uh, for a complete look at all the news and features, pick up tomorrow's edition of the Times-Herald Record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter. Still aren't getting...